recently you spoke about Glenn Lal being responsible for someone's death. Murder which has no statutes of limitation. And the government failed to investigate that also. Will the government change its stance on investigating things and looking into things um, in the future? And maybe the police should reopen this case because I don't think it was concluded with Glenn Lal when he said, I think he said it's, an act, it, it's in the Kaicho Sabuk News, or reported, when he shot and killed the guy, he said, I think it was a mistake or something like that. The issue is the U.S. really doesn't say why they don't conform why they would deny a person a visa or anything of that sort. They don't confirm that. One of the um, questions we raised was um, a former PS of the Ministry of Home Affairs that was stopped and questioned at um, an American airport while in transit. Um, it is public knowledge of what transpired there as a, ba as a result of poor association, not a government's issue. Why hasn't the government come out and spoken to the fact that this has nothing to do with us? Because she was questioned, May Thomas, the former PS, was questioned, and specific questions were asked to her. Well, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. So as time grows closer for this general elections, the gloves are coming off. Especially after that UN conference and the way that allegedly the Honorable Minister Gail Teixeira was peppered with more questions that she could deal with at the present moment. Too many questions. And the reply was, the response was, from Dr. Jagdeo today on his press conference, he said, paraphrasing allegedly, that a lot of this is unfounded. A lot of this information is coming from the opposition, it seems like they got a lot of this information from the opposition because a lot of what they're saying seems like the same thing the opposition is saying, the UN he was referencing at that point. And the entire couple of days of the conference is up on the channel. So you could check the entire thing there. You could hear all the questions and the deliberations back and forth between them and the UN Member Council. Now, it was very interesting. And Jack Dio's bringing up some of these cases that we would have heard critics mentioning. Because watch, I know if y'all catch critics live recently or this morning or of the Thursday, the same Thursday when Jack Dio did the conference, what you're going to notice, he mentioned this particular meme. This meme that he said someone sent in to him that was referencing allegedly this case that he had between him and the Mohammeds. Now, I'm like, why is he bringing this back up? But you see now, hindsight is 2020. Because now as you look back, it's like, okay, it's a one two punch. Okay, allegedly. Everything is prepped and we're ready for them because if they feel they're going to bring in the UN, then we're going to bring all of this stuff back to the front and we're going to put it back into the media now and let's see what they're going to say now when allegedly this murder case is brought back into the, into the spin. Let's see what they're going to say now allegedly when we bring back this, this extradition thing into the spin. Oh, we're the criminals here. What about your criminalities? It's a back and forth. Gaslighting and a whole lot of things going on. Guyanese. Sound-minded Guyanese. The ones them that understand. 
the fact that you will never be a real citizen of nowhere else other than where you were born. Everywhere else can revoke anything else. We ain't want to hear no back and forth and no heaping up with who do this and who do that and who do that. We're talking about the betterment for Guyana as we're moving into this. We're moving in focus for these next couple of months. Watch, we saw a custom coming down, right? More distraction. Rick Ross coming in next month, right? More distraction. All Cricket World Cup, everything going to come this year. A heap of distractions. Why? Because you're living in the richest country in the world. And you, your vote and your focus is important. Because if you don't say nothing, do you end in doing nothing? And if the UN ain't doing nothing, then the government that's in power has all power and authority to do what they want within the constraints of the most richest country in the world, unbothered and untouched, regardless of who that alleged government is. We, the persons that they're going to say is so-called nationals of that place, have to stay focused because you see with all of these distractions and everything that's going on, who do this, she do this, and all of the stuff in the media and all the entertainment that's coming in, let's not lose focus on what's really going on in the country. Let's have a conversation in the comment section. And thanks to all the persons who've been commenting and having the conversation that's needed. I know some of y'all putting certain things in the comments too that, you know, you shouldn't be putting there because... In this channel, on this channel, we end up on that racist thing, you know. On this channel, we end up on that foolishness, you know. We picking one party just because we be picking them for a while and because they look like we racially and them type of thing. We end up on betterment for everybody in Guyana. And anybody we see playing the race card, we watching you with both eyes because we know you're trying to separate you from we brothers so that you could use we and use we brothers too eventually and we ain't playing them games because guess what a house divided could never truly win dr jack yo uh the critic for daybreak news you're beating the kaito news today then? um so i think the guyanese citizens are seeing the double standard with kaito news and it's evident in their monday edition so the biggest article in Kaicho News header would have been UN, UN questions government failure to investigate reports of corruption against the vice president. I think the interest would have been the UN, its importance. Um, but just over that um, header would have been Israel force, um, Isra Israeli forces launch new attack on Gaza, um, the hospital and so on. Bear in mind, one of the bodies that could do anything and bring um, peace to the Palestinians and relief to the Palestinians is the UN. So when you look at the double standard as what is the big story um, and how the UN becomes relevant and irrelevant on the front page of Kaichur, um, I would like to say, Dr. Jagdu, there's some truth to what is being said by Kaicho News in the government's failure to investigate certain things because of the fact recently you spoke about Glenn Lal being responsible for someone's death, murder which has no statutes of limitation, and the government failed to investigate that also. Will the government change its stance on investigating things and looking into things um, in the future? So... First of all, the UN did not question us. We submit, did not issue an adverse finding against the government of Ghana. That's the first thing. So when the headline goes, UN say, says this. This is a international covenant that the, the state parties acceded to that deals with civil and political rights. We are a part of it. We have to submit reports on these issues. We submitted our report. They can, the members of the committee can ask questions on the report 
or they can get it from other submissions. We believe that the questions raised, particularly by the New York man who is there on the committee, Lawrence Helfer, that they did came straight from the APNU because they have, this is APNU's playbook. You, everybody who is, lives in Guyana, who has listened to them once, would see the exact same thing that they're saying. So what he did cleverly, he said, oh, there, there's public frustration over the failure to investigate allegations of corruption, allegations of corruption against the vice president, the police, and the judiciary. Now, we can investigate, as the point made by Anil Nandalal, you investigate the judiciary just like that, based on allegations of corruption. So, so the thing is that, what public frustration? But I heard that language used by APNU, and that is what they're telling people, that there's public frustration about, about failure to, to investigate against a few of us. There's no public frustration on these matters. So this is what has happened. They use the question. So Kaicho News wanted to make it look like the UN had an adverse finding against us. And, they, and, and a lot of the reports, adverse finding. And they use that to dig up all the, the stories from the past. So you're right about that. If they're so concerned about justice, and maybe the police should reopen this case because I don't think it was concluded with Glenn Lal when he said, I think he said it's, an, it's in the Kaicho Starbuck News, was reported, when he shot and killed the guy, he said, I think it was a mistake or something like that. He shot and killed somebody and then deem it as a mistake. I don't think he was charged either for manslaughter or murder. And from what I gather, there was no conclusion to the matter. If a private citizen should write the police to, um, or the Ghana Human Rights Association should do that. Let's give some work to wake him up and give him some work. McCormack should write the police. Next thing they would say, Jack Dio doesn't like Glenn Lal, so Jack Dio wants him investigated. Why don't we say credible NGOs ask for an investigation by, of Glenn Lal's murder of a gentleman, a, a, a person? We could get that done. Can you encourage the GHRA to do that? And so, so I don't, it, the, a lot of the media here, they, for, uh, that's why I said they forgot about the other elements of the report our submission, and they chose only a couple of things to highlight, consistent with their, well, one, Kaicho News, hatred of Jagdeo or love of Jagdeo, I don't know which is it, because you, you, for, for me to make the paper so often, there got to be something special there, uh, but they, they're not interested in the truth. So I, I would, can you ask the head of the GHRA to write about this? Dr. Jack Transparency Yeo, International. Dr. Jagyo, one of the um, questions we raised was um, a former PS of the Ministry of Home Affairs that was stopped and questioned at um, an American airport while in transit. Um, it is public knowledge of what transpired there as a, ba as a result of poor association, not a government's issue. Why hasn't the government come out and spoken to the fact that this has nothing to do with us? Because she was questioned, May Thomas, the former PS, was questioned, and specific questions were asked to her. Most likely she came back, she told her employer what was those questions and why she was stopped. Why hasn't the government come and clear its name um, in relation to this? So, the issue is... The U.S. really doesn't say why they don't conform, why they would deny a person a visa. 
or anything of that sort. They don't conform that. So the denial of the visa entry into the United States um, is a matter where the U.S. government has not made it clear to us about a denial. Now we know generally what the issues or what she was asked about. We can't link that to the denial of the visa, but we know what she was asked about. But when this matter came up, and at some point in time, the US government has not contacted us about those investigations until, until now. The US government has not, and that's our position when, um, when we dealt with the issue in the past that when the U.S. government contacts us, because there was a Reuters story that sought to link this and the several individuals here in Guyana, and when asked about it, we say, said, when the U.S. government contacts us about an investigation, we will respond accordingly, and we will let the public know. We have not been contacted as yet. 100% wildcrafted CMOS from nature by natives why pay more you guys give critics five million dollars is this real or is it a prank boss no disrespect no no the man come here and said pops i need five million dollars to to go and um settle with his family you know yeah we gave him the five million dollars cash cash money nothing five million dollar cash oh my god I'll tell you the same, I'll 